Hey, I'm Chad, and this is Cohen, and we are making Spookville. Cohen acts as producer, who comes up with ideas and unique scenarios for the game, and he is the voice of the main character. He's being shy right now, <laughs> but there are plenty of opportunities for you to see him in action in this devlogue. So we are entering our 12th month of game development for Spookville Cabin Escape, and there have been a ton of changes since we initially announced it. We started last January just as a, a friendly project, right Cohen? And it has now turned into an open world action adventure game with a little bit of horror aspect to it. So, with that being said, let's just jump right into the game, see Cohen in action, and experience the world of Spookville. I did not think that was going to be possible. Did you want to play? Yep. Yeah. I really like using the baseball bat, and why is there a 100? Why can't our character have him? Oh, yeah. Okay. I kind of forgot how to play, but... So Spookville now features a broader world environment. Yeah. We also oh, rework the combat in the system, and we have a dynamic weather system for when the player's out exploring. Really? Why do we jump so high? I can change it. Yeah, we could jump. And why does this screen shake when we you don't like the shake no so as you can see Cohen immediately gives feedback based on anything he finds that may or may not be right in the game and so primarily during waking hours when he's down here with me he's play testing he's recording his voice yeah. but <laughs> when he goes to bed or when he's at school that's when we, I get busy building the world, coming up with the mechanics, and uh, I have unlimited ammo. Implementing the gameplay. Unlimited ammo. Let's go. No, it's, it's decreasing. The combat right now features like a baseball bat okay. and this MP5, but I will be replacing okay. it with I'm the gonna... Nerf gun. No, no. Okay. Hey, watch the sunset. Watch the sunset. Um, now, if the sun is setting there, what's the other direction? Here. Behind me. Oh, what's that? That's the moon. Hmm. I already know. But why does the screen go so slowly? Okay, so yep. I need to increase the sensitivity oh, look, for the I'm, rotation. I'm going to go over there. I want to investigate a little bit. But why is it still kind of light and not dark? Sun's still sun. I'm really Maybe I can add a a clock somewhere. Where do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Um. But what if you added um zombies like Minecraft? Zombies? You mean like creepers? Creepers and zombies. No, well, remember nighttime. That's when the spiders come out. Okay, so see, now it's getting darker. It's Whoa, almost too look. dark. Mm hmm. Do you know what that is? Uh. No. The Northern Lights. The Oriala Borealis. Oh no, I'm not at all. I guess I'm So just now, gonna... now look up in the sky and you can see a full skybox of stars. The moon is up there. We've got some ambient light. Some areas of the world even have fireflies and other um, other things that occur at night. I wonder how much damage the baseball attack does. Yeah. It should test that, but where is the house? <laughs> so you're lost. So at night, you're supposed to return back to your cabin to keep it safe. Yeah, it's right over here. Mm -hmm. I go into the cabin. And as the story progresses, you'll recruit allies to assist you. And some of those alleys, like the teddy bear, Yay, teddy. will help guide you like a GPS system back to the back to your cabin. <laughs> oh, you found some nightlight for fireflies. Yay! Go into the cabin. Let's check it out. Oh, it looks gorgeous. It looks a little dark. Maybe you need to collect some firewood or other resources to. Uh... It looks. Well, why is that blinking? Yeah, it's just a... 
Oh, thunder. Oh, yeah. Thunder and lightning now. See, this is the dynamic system. But why can't we go up there and we use it? Well, that door's locked right now. Um, you pressed the down arrow to crouch. Okay. Oh, look, the fireflies are getting inside the cabin. No. No. I'm going to hit them with the baseball bat. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Why isn't the well over here? Hmm? You're getting a little advanced now. <laughs> There's nothing back of here except for wood. <laughs> right now, yep. Gonna need to add like some secret weapons and ammo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here. Mm, good observation. So, the more quests you complete, the parents will be able to build up the cabin, including turrets and other defenses to yeah. protect the cabin from the invading yeah, bad guys. Yeah, look, I'm standing, but I'm floating. See? Okay. Well, what do you think? Is it it looks good, but we need to add a little more. And why is that footprint floating? Is there something else I need to fix? Looks like a glitch, see? <laughs> I find it a bit Alright, well thank you for playing. So that's a traditional game walkthrough. <laughs> uh, let's play with producer Cohen. So, uh, yeah, there's there's a lot going on. Um, as I mentioned, the game kind of turned into a open world adventure. Uh, it is still story driven, so there is still a uh, strong storyline that will progress as the player completes quests and missions. The ally system is still in place. Um, this is just kind of a real rough walkthrough demonstration of the day-night cycle, dynamic weather system, um, combat mechanics. So definitely appreciate you joining our short Let's Play. I expect a more formal uh, developer log going into detail of what all of these changes entail. So appreciate you joining and I'll, I'll see you next time.